Australian house prices continued to slide last month, May 2019. Darwin and Perth suffered the biggest falls at 1.6% and 1% respectively. Brisbane and Sydney came in next with falls of 0.5% each. Hobart fell 0.4%, Melbourne 0.3% and Canberra 0.2%. Adelaide was the only capital city to show any price growth at 0.2%. Overall, this represents a national price decline of 0.4%. If we look at how prices have fallen since the peak of the housing market, we can see that Darwin, Perth, Sydney and Melbourne have all suffered price declines of over 10%. In Darwin's case, its market has declined almost 30% since peak, with Perth fast approaching 20% declines. All in all, the capital cities have declined 10.1% since peak. If we include regional centres, Australian housing has fallen 8.2% on average. Cameron Kusher, Head of Research at CoreLogic, has somewhat taken an optimistic view of the market. He said, We've been seeing the rate of decline on a monthly basis slow. That 0.5% fall in Sydney was actually the slowest monthly rate of decline since March of last year. And similarly, in Melbourne we saw a 0.3% fall over the month, which was the slowest rate of monthly decline since April last year. But does this mean that the price falls are near their end? Chief Economist at Comsec has also taken a positive outlook. He said, Clearly Australia is a different place since the surprise return of the coalition government at the May 18th election. But even before the election, home prices were showing signs of flattening, with national dwelling prices recording the smallest decline in a year. Mr Kusher commented that even though the rate of falls seems to be slowing, he's not expecting a quick recovery. He said, We expect that there's going to continue being some monthly declines over the coming months, and then the market will probably bottom late this year. We still think it's going to be a very slow recovery, and the main reason for that is we have seen the prospect of changes to negative gearing and the capital gains tax now gone. We see that APRA is now talking about changing some of the serviceability limits, and that's positive for the market. And then we also potentially get an interest rate cut tomorrow or in the coming months. And those three factors are positive for the market, but it's still going to be a lot more difficult to get a mortgage than it was before 2014. Anyway, that's my quick update of the Australian housing market. Experts seem to think that the market is bottoming out, at least that's how they interpret the figures. What are your thoughts? Are housing prices near the bottom? Is now the time to start investing in property? Or is property just one big Ponzi scheme which should be avoided like the plague? Thanks for watching.